Hi. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Matt Minard. For those of you that do, you're like, that's how he pronounces his last name? Yep, my nerd. Get it? But I just left my job. I left my career with corporate healthcare, and it was a sacrifice, and I want to share with you why and why I did it. I've known I wanted to be a physical therapist since I was 15 years old. I always knew that I loved helping people. I've always loved exercising. My dad got me into it, and I met all my best friends through exercise. The year I decided I wanted to be a PT, they changed it to a seven-year doctorate. I didn't care. So went to school for seven years, did an extra year of school, of doing a residency to specialized. Fast forward eight years later, the pandemic hits. And I don't realize how much of my identity I place into my job as a physical therapist. And I started to think, if I identify myself as a physical therapist and I work for this one hospital system, I'm very limited in my capacity to help. If what I identify with as a human being, a human, and I just love helping, I'm limited if I define myself by a physical therapist for a healthcare company. So if I do my own thing, if I define myself by me as a human being who I've learned to love and I have a skill set of helping people and I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. And so I had to sacrifice all that school, the job, and it wasn't easy. But to me, a sacrifice is an investment. You do something now that isn't advantageous for payoff later. The sacrifice now, it was hard. It was hard leaving. I had four weeks to tell people that I was leaving. I had people cry that I didn't even think liked me. I had people that I thought were supportive, called me a traitor. But overall, 98% of people were so supportive and so helpful to me in this journey because it's not easy. My girlfriend, Alex, my friends and family, those that truly love you, if you show them your heart and what you're trying to do, it's amazing the amount of support. So. I'm nothing special. The last four months, I've cut the noise. I've not watched one bit of news. I've focused on building my brand that I started with the Instagram Learn to Run that I started about two years ago now. And I got to the point where if you said, Matt, here's 40 more hours a week, what would you do with it? I wouldn't know before. I didn't deserve it. But through self-reflection, time management, learning how to manage myself, my emotions, learning to not take things personally, I slowly figured it out. I figured out that if you gave me 40 hours more a week, I could grow. I could grow as my own brand, my own person, and try to help the most amount of people. I've thought, how can I make the greatest impact? My exercise is my mental therapy, like a lot of you. Most of us, yes, we wanna look a certain way, but our, what keeps us coming back is for the mental health. I understand that. I'm my target audience. And what keeps me up or what gets me going is the thought that people can't exercise, they can't move, whether that be running or walking. When that's taken away from us, we don't realize how valuable something is until it's gone. Well, I wanna try to change that. I wanna stop being reactive, treating injuries that already happened, and try being proactive. Our society, as you know, we're just used to being reactive. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I wanna to try to make a difference. I want to be that you, no matter where you live, any part of the world, you want help with your running, you want help with your walking, someday squatting, deadlifting, getting up and down from the ground, whatever it is that's a basic necessity of human life. If you want somebody to work with you, I'll have information online that's easy to access that you can use, or I'll have people around you that are trained and certified in my methods to help you one-on-one, -on -one, to try to make the greatest impact. So I've had to learn to not take things personally. It's not been easy. Of course, I still care what people think, but I ha I've had to learn how to compartmentalize, and that's not something that's easy by me. So I just want you to know what I've been up to. I'm not asking for anything of you. I just hope that if there ever comes a time in your future where you are trying to move, you're trying to better yourself. You never thought you'd be able to run before and all these barriers, I wanna to try to make that accessible to you. And that's what I'm gonna devote the rest of my life to is helping you to move safer. No matter what your reason for moving is, I wanna help you to do it safer. So 
I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank all of you for all of your support this whole time. And I hope I have the honor of serving you someday. Thank you.